But... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No! Welcome back online guys, Tomagotchi here and oh if you remember last episode this is going to be so painful to do but I'm afraid it has to be done. Though let's not let's not forget this part okay, let's not forget this much. Remember how Smoochum used Shadow Ball on Slowpoke, it weakened it and that was enough for, for my other Pokemon to take it down. Because uh, I, I, I would have liked to have kept Smoochum as my primary Pokemon. But that's how that's not how Nuzlocke's work, I'm afraid. But let's at least remember one thing, and one thing only. It's through her brave sacrifice that we managed to make it past that point where I died the last time. So I've improved... So every episode, counting this one, every episode after after that moment where I defeated that trainer, from here on out, it's complete and utter progress. I don't know if I can make it through this Nuzlocke, but we've gotten this far, and it's all thanks to you, Harless. So from the bottom of our hearts, rest in peace. You will not be forgotten. Your bravery shall be remembered. I miss him already. <laughs> no. We will we will brave on. We will keep going. In her memory. In the memory of all of our fall fallen comrades. And you gotta give her props, she she was a baby. She was only a little baby, but she held her own and she carried this team through thick and thin. Anyway. So anyway, from here on out, from here on out, it's complete and utter, it's complete and utter, we can do this. It's like everything after this, Wait, isn't there someone here who gives me something? Your Pokemon sure look lightweight. They don't have the power to move boulders aside. Oh yes, strength! I can give that to anybody. Let's go down self. Be proud of Buff Bard. Interesting. So this is a route right here. Oh. Okay, remember what I said about not playing crystal very all those years ago I do not remember this area oh the battle tower it originated here huh we could technically get a Pokemon here because there's trees to headbutt interesting so there's a there's a shot of another Pokemon. Also, there's these rocks can be smashed, and there might be Geo dudes. Anyway, so this episode, this episode from here on out, I do not know how far I'm gonna get, but I do know that we will. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch I'm gonna switch to Quave. Because Quave is still here. She hasn't done much. So now we got to fight these trainers and get the potion. Hmm, this is no place for playing. <laughs> well, it's no place for battling either. You know that, right? Oh hey, Noctowl. 
wave. Actually, I can use ID do. I can use ID do. ID do. Okay. Um, rock throw. Definitely rock throw. This shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it is water Pokemon up here. And I've got mostly water Pokemon on my team, so that this should give me an advantage. So yeah, at least I've gotten this far. And I think it's awesome. Like, to know that I've gotten further than I did originally. And like, everything is a... Well, it's not really a surprise, because I've played Pokemon Gold many, many times. At the very least, I feel like I can do this. I, I can... I might get as far as the Elite Four. I mean, of course, I'm... I'm putting my eggs in one basket here, but it's possible. It's like, it's not the end yet. I can do this. Ugh. Just wake up, wake up, wake up. It's growling, and I don't like it. There we go, there we go. Ooh, so close. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Just, yes, there we go. Noctowl done. Quave's now level 14. And Idido is now level 23. Gentleman Alfred. I, ah, uh, I, I can wait. I can't see that you are serious, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> right. Men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. Not me, man. I mean, if I can avoid it, I would like to, but it's necessary to advance the story. Anyway, Togepi still hasn't evolved and I don't like it. Anyway, you know what? You know what? Hang on. Let's get round belly in on, in on this. See what happens. Definitely gonna use the double slap it. Oh, nice, nice. So at least Round Belly can do something. Actually, now that I think about it, it's not that far off from evolving into Poliwhirl. Sadly, I cannot evolve it into Polygraph because I, you can only get Water Stones very later in the game, way after the Elite Four. Then again, I could be wrong, this is Crystal. So it might be possible. And here's Poliwhirl. And even Poliwhirl's level 18. So for all I know, it could be the next level. You know what, do I have my phone here? I mean, I should have this knowledge on hand to be fair, but I'm gonna see if I can look this up. <laughs> Just you watch, by the time I look it up, it turns out that Round Belly's gonna die. Come on. Anyway, uh, come on. Well, he's, only, he's not doing that much damage to me, so I should be okay. At least it's on the orange. Water. I'm on Cerebi.net. Really, playing Pokemon for most of my life, you'd think I, you'd think I. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened? Okay, okay. I just press the Windows key. 25! So it's five levels to go. Might not all be all that long, to be fair. It's getting to Polyrath that's going to be the problem. Anyway, come on. Yay! Did it. Okay. Okay, you know. 
Right, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center though. Because all this time I'm carrying Quave around and Quave isn't... Quave doesn't even... Although, now that I think about it, what TMs do I have? Mud Slap, Attack, and Fury Cut. Wait, who can learn it? Eberhook can. So it's possible. Hmm. But anyway, I've got to fight a lot of people in this lighthouse. And Jasmine is going to give me a special mission that I have to... Oh, I'm forgetting the name of the town, but it's the next one over, and that's where the next gym is. Which has a lot of fighting types. Anyway. So it's necessary to get up here. Do 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 do. Do ba do do. Do do. Right, so at least we cleared this floor, right? Yes, we have. And um, there's a guy. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can avoid this guy all entirely. I shouldn't, because they do give EXP. But I think it's best if I just, in the event that I, in the event that I fall, and I probably will. Hmm, I'm the gentleman, gentleman Preston. Sent out to Garlith. That's good, that's okay. Anyway, how often have has Quave? Cause Quave was level five when when he hatched, right? I feel like I feel like it's been a few levels. Cause again, it gains happiness with every level up. And we gave him two haircuts. Also, is it a he or is it a she? I keep forgetting. I'd like to say it, say it was a she. Oh, another Growlithe. But I don't want to exchange Pokemon. Doesn't say. Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. Just get this done. And there goes Growlithe. There goes Growlithe. So there's Gentleman Preston done. Yes, you should train some more. Right. Ah, I'm lagging. I meant to bring it with me. Nobody can better get in the way. Yay, whatever. Right, Connie. Sent something. Meryl! Meryl! And I have Quave. Right. Um, everyone's a water type. Everyone's a water type. My entire team is just water types. Wouldn't even be so bad if Quave knew an attacking move. And I'm not. I don't want to use Metronome. Because if I use Metronome, there's a chance it could be self destruct. So I'm not doing that. Actually. What if I give it Poison Sting? Because mm. Meryl's going to use Roll Out. I just know it. Actually, whilst I have my phone out here, when does Tentacruel evolve into Tentacruel? I better look that up. Anyway, I'm using Poison Sting in the odd chance that it, that it poisons Meryl. And it does! That's awesome! Nice. Level 30, so it's 10 levels away. Actually, you know what, while I'm here I might as well do it for the entire team. Because the more Pokemon that evolve fully, the better. Krabby's 28, so he's not all that far, so that's fine, that is fine. Um. Who else do I have? Hmm. I'm trying to think who else I have. In the, in the way of water types, not a lot. That's to be expected, really. 
Right. Actually, you know what I could search for? Quave's level 15. So that's good. So, I've got an idea. Right, Quave still hasn't evolved. But my question is, what if I can learn how? Anyway, I know this bit. I'm going to avoid this sailor over here. All that for an ether. Good. Right. Oh, whoops. Okay, you know what, fine. Right. Could I learn how to... Because cause I want to make sure... Uh... You know what, hang on, I can check the game mechanics section. And I'm only doing this just because I feel like... I feel like I'm, I'm not... I feel like I'm there, but at the same time I'm not. And that sucks. Um, right. Where's the happiness then? Hidden power. Happiness! Right. This matchup won't be too hard. Right. One of the less important game mechanics that is fully understandable without the use of complex equations and such is happiness. It isn't really the most helpful game mechanic in, in battle unless you're speaking of moves like return frustration, but this but it is a game mechanic anyhow. The other use for happiness would be evolution purposes, which can obviously be an important factor for stats. Anyway, let's start off with some basics. Logic would happen when to Pokemon is not going to like you. <laughs> Interesting way to start it. To... <laughs> that's an in that's interesting. It's like even, but it's not going to hate you either. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cerebi.net, by the way. There's a way to increase happiness of a Pokemon that you caught immediately as well, and that's using a luxury ball, which don't exist in Generation Two. Of course, you can't use luxury b balls on hatched Pokemon. So that shortcut is kind of useless if you're a breeder. Duh. Happiness is actually the as easy to influence as eating a piece of toast or turning a doorknob. No, it's not because it's not been happening, really. Or what? Or whatever other comparisons you can think of. The things that will raise happiness are plentiful and each raise different values. The values change based on how happy your Pokemon is already. Okay. Because for it to be max happiness... Right, okay. So I'm gonna serve here, right. Have a massage. Use vitamins. Walk 128 steps, which I feel like it's done. Capturing a friend ball, can't do that. Use energy powder or heal powder. Use energy root. Use revival. Oh wait, no, those are negatives. Oh, okay, that explains it. So there's a little chart here. So, the max happiness is what? 225? Okay, so I'm assuming the haircut is the same as getting the massage. Super repel. That'll come in handy. Right, here we go. This Pokemon's always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cena Wood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Yes, I will. And that is going to... That's basically our... Ooh, hello. There's an item there. Just wanted to make sure I get everything before I go down. Super Potion. That could come in handy, too. Right, so, to my knowledge, what, 200 and, what, it's 255, isn't it, for max happiness? Just before lowering it. Right, okay, because there's a chart here, 
If it's between zero and a hundred, that will get the most effect. So, so if I get if if that haircut was okay, so no one hundred plus thirty for the haircut. I'm assuming it says massage, but I'm assuming it's haircut as well. But if it's 100 to 200, then it only increases it by 10, and then 200 plus is plus 5. That could probably be why it's been slow, because even the even the situations where I am increasing it, the higher I get, the slower it will be. So that's why Quave hasn't quite reached the maximum happiness that it needs in order to in order to evolve. Anyway, anyway, I'm super excited about this because in the next episode, I mean, we've learned a lot today for certain. Basically, I've got to level up most of my Pokemon and hope that Quave reaches maximum happiness anyway. And believe me, when it evolves into Togetic, I'm going to be using that a lot. So we've learned a lot in this episode and I like that. So... As always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, this is Tamagotchi, signing off. Click, click! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click, click, click. Tamagotchi.